Salam Salams and welcome to a brand new vlog. Today we are leaving Karbala and heading off back to Baghdad. So come and join me for this journey. Hi friends and welcome to my channel. My name is Halima. I create content on travel, lifestyle, teaching and cooking. Thank you for joining us as I travel around Iraq. If you are new to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and help me to get to my first 500 followers for my first giveaway. Also follow me on Snapchat, TikTok and Instagram and Twitter for regular updates. Right, let's get into the video. in the morning my mom my sister and me decided we wanted to visit the maqams of both Hazrat Imam Hussain and Hazrat Abbas Ridhaan. We left our hotel at ATM and first visited Hazrat Abbas Ridhaan. The maqam was really quiet and we were able to do salam properly, sit and pray nafal and do dua in peace. It was such a beautiful experience as you felt really spiritually uplifted. After emotional goodbyes at both maqams we did a quick spot of shopping which never ends and headed back to our hotel for breakfast and to pack up and get ready to leave. We left at 11am and headed straight to Baghdad. However, due to an event happening in Baghdad, the road to Baghdad was busy. So our two hour journey turned into five hours as we ended up stopping at Babul Agra Bakery. It's a famous bakery about 20 kilometers outside of Baghdad. This bakery was a, just a basic bread shop which began in 1948. Over the years it's developed and bought in dozens of different food types. It's a family run business. They provide every customer with a free coffee as part of the Iraqi hospitality. We stayed here for a couple of hours, prayed Zohar and Asr and headed off to Baghdad. Greg's ain't got shit on this. Check them all out. There's even more down there. And on that back conveyor belt, there's even more. Where's the owner of Greg's? We need to have words. Check these guys out. On it, on it, on it.
Once in Baghdad, we visited the Maqam of Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani. They are a Sunni preacher, mystic, Jewish, theologian, and founder of the Qadri Tariqa Sufi order of Sufism. They were born on the 11th of Rabi'l Sani, 470 AH, passed away in Baghdad on 11th of Rabi'l Sani, 561 AH, born in, the born in the town Naif in Jilani of in Iraq. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani passed away at the age of 87. They are buried in their Madrasa in Babu Sheikh Rusafa on the east bank of the Tigris, Tigris River in Baghdad. He was a Persian humbly Sunni jurist and based in Baghdad. At the age of 18, Sheikh Abu Qadir Jilani came to Baghdad where they studied humbly law and hadith. After completing their education, Sheikh Abu Qadir Jilani left Baghdad, spent 25 years approximately wandering the deserts of Iraq. He had to return to Baghdad in 1127 to teach the public. They taught at their own school of their teacher al makazumi and they were very popular with the students. In the morning they taught to Steed and Hadith, in the afternoon it was sessions, sessions on the science of the heart and virtues of the Quran. Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani was said to be a convincing preacher and converted many Jews and Christians. We then headed back to our hotel after Maghrib for dinner and a rest before leaving in the night. At 11am we left for the airport and there was extensive security checks just to get to the airport and once in the airport, including health checks for our Covid tests. Once I board boarded my flight, all I remember is sleeping and waking up before we landed in Istanbul and then once we landed in Manchester. Once back in Manchester, I headed straight off to my parents' house as my little sister, bless her, had made such a beautiful breakfast for us all. And then, what did I need? My bed. 
Right, guys, that brings me to the end of the video. I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your family and friends. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.